Live in-person theater is back at Youngstown State University. We'll tell you all about the first show in University Theater's 58th season in this week's After Hours Report. Hello and welcome to the After Hours Report. I'm Maggie Young, and this weekend, Youngstown State University will present its first live and in-person production since the pandemic began. And that production is the romantic comedy, Almost Maine. So you're just looking for a place to see the Golden Lights, though? Well, yeah, just tonight. Well, you know you might not see it tonight. Oh, you never really no, be sure no, it. I will see them, because this is the right time. Almost Maine is a fun script that is divided into nine different vignettes. They take place in the mythical town of Omos, Maine. It's not going to be on your map because it's not an actual town, technically. What do you mean? It, it, to be a town, you got to get organized. And we never got around to getting organized, so we're just almost. It's middle of winter where everybody is cold, but this play has a lot of heart, a lot of warmth, uh, and explores the sort of complexities of love in all of its many forms and facets. It's a lot of small scenes and a lot of glimpses into people's lives and situations that they're going through. Almost Maine is about love. So you get to see all of these characters kind of experience love in different ways, falling in, falling out. And something that I think really interesting that Almost Maine does that a lot of anthologies don't do is because it's set in the same place, you're allowed to get little bits and hints of the other stories, like these characters know each other, they're just not in the same scene. What I love most about it is this underlying theme of the Aurora Borealis that kind of ties all of these, these scenarios together. The northern lights are somewhat magical and, and help these moments sort of like find a punctuation point. Those northern lights and the rest of the almost main atmosphere were brought together through collaboration, says director Matthew Mazeroski. So this has been a collaboration between uh, myself and our set design, Todd Dickin, who also did, painted the floor, uh, Ellen Lissitra, who did the, the lighting, which is sort of helping to bring the Northern Lights alive for us, and uh, Wendy Akers has supplied some fantastic props. And then against this sort of like, sort of really magical background, we have these quirky characters that are costumed beautifully by Catherine Garlick, our costume designer. The cast of the first in-person production includes Elise Vargo, Lexi Denny, Hannah Rosser, Nicholas Wicks, John Burse, and Mitchell Sharp. And each cast member is playing multiple roles. Well, I think one of the great things for, for any actor is to be able to play multiple characters. I mean, it's a real challenge. I play the parts of Jimmy, Randy, and Dave. And I play the roles of Jeanette, of uh, Villian, Gail, and Suzette. And I play the roles of Sandrine, Marcy, and Rhonda. Oh, look at you two tucked away in the corner over here. Well, look, you found you. So, it's man and his lovely lady ready for another round? Sure, well, well no, uh, we're not together. Jimmy is a down on his luck heating and cooling repairman um, who bumps into a woman who has unceremoniously dumped him. I haven't seen you in, well, months. Yeah. And months and months and months and months and months and months. Uh, and he he's not taking it well. I'm getting married. Oh. Yeah. Sandrine is, um, trying to celebrate her bachelorette party. Villian is a very spunky waitress that is just having a good time. It's supposed to say villain. Well, it doesn't say villain. It says Billy. I know, I spelled it wrong. What? Again, the challenge and, and I think the joy of this piece is seeing these different actors playing these different characters in these situations. And they're so unique. Each situation is unique unto itself. My name's Billion, if you need anything. Just ask for Billion. Billion? I think we're really eager to get back in front of a live audience because we've really missed that, that synergy that happens between a live audience and a performer on stage. We had uh, crew views, which means um, all of the crew that helps out with Almost Maine got to sit down and watch it since they'll be backstage and won't really get to see it any other time. And having an audience that reacts to the things that you say and you do, it's just something that is irreplaceable. It is one of the many 
joys of my life and I'm so excited that I get to be able to do it here. I'm so excited to be with a live audience and this stage in particular is really unique because it's got three different angles so there's a lot you can do that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on like a, a typical stage. I missed this. I missed every part of it. Um, just being able to be in the space collaborating with tech and designers and directors and cast members and being part of the magic again, there's nothing like it in the world. We do theater because we love that, again, that interaction, that immediacy of connecting with an audience and just the joy of that. I think that, and this is a joyous production to sort of welcome theater goers back to Youngstown State University. I like this right now. This kind of close right next to you. You can catch Almost Main inside Bliss Hall Spotlight Arena Theater on the campus of YSU this Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and on Sunday at 2 p.m. There will also be a second lineup of shows next weekend, October 1st through the 3rd. Get your tickets by visiting ysu.tix.com. Masks are required in all university buildings. Any human being who has experienced love, uh, the heartbreak of lost love, those kinds of things, is going to find that connection. It's a fantastic show. I think the script is great, and I think that um, the people that I have had the absolute uh, privilege of working with um, just bring it to life. They're so talented, and you are really going to miss out if you don't see it. You won't be disappointed. You will leave with the these characters and their sweet heartfelt lives and it's it's going to be a good time. If this happens to be the first show that you are interested in um, attending since the shutdown then I highly recommend it because you will not be disappointed. You know a, a troubled time when there's so much hatred and vitriolic language and, and like a, you know nastiness going on this is a play that reminds us of our common humanity so please come out and join us. As always, don't forget to visit AfterHoursYoungstown.com for all the latest entertainment news. Thank you all so much for joining me for this week's After Hours Report, and I will see you all next week. Built for the 21st century American workforce, Eastern Gateway Community College has two campuses and is a national leader in online learning. EGCC.edu is a digital gateway where 30,000 students are quickly transforming their financial futures through degrees, certificates, transferable credits, and higher paying jobs. And now, residents of the Mahoning Valley can enroll in summer classes for free. It's the EGCC Summer Guarantee. Eastern Gateway, America's new workforce starts here.